Hi guys, good morning. In this question, we are going to see cuckoo eating bananas. And if you have already not watched the previous video, it was exactly, if not 100% same as that we are seeing in this problem. So if you have done the previous problem, which was yesterday's one, or if you have not seen what was the pre previous problem, you can just go and check in the cards. But if yes, then do try it by yourself first. It's exactly the same like the previous one, but not let's see this problem. It says that Coco loves to eat bananas and there are in piles of bananas, which means that each pile has some bananas. I get pile has piles of I bananas. Okay. There's a piles array and every pile, which means that every index is represented by a, pop, by a piles of I and it represents a banana. Cool. And we are also given some HRs. What it means is that Coco, she can decide her bananas per hour eating speed. Which means K is number of bananas she can eat in one hour. Cool. Each hour she eats K bananas. It's a eating speed. Cool. If the pile has less than K bananas, she eats all of them. So basically if the pile has, if the K is let's say 6, which means in 6 hours, she can eat in six, like she can eat six bananas in one hour. So if I have remaining, let's say five bananas, so she can directly eat all those five and in one hour, like she don't need exactly six to eat. Cool. We need to return the minimum integer k such that she can eat all bananas within the h hours. I need to find the minimum integer k, which means let's say my k is anything. And she can eat all the bananas within those H hours. Let's see this example for a bit clarity. So basically minimum integer K, which means is it indicates that she can eat K bananas in one hour. So I just need to indicate, okay, how many hours into bananas or something like that will happen such that it can happen inside those H hours, which is given. Let's see the example. The piles is given as three, six, seven, eleven. So each Let's say this 3, this 6, this 7, this 11, it represents the number of bananas at this moment at that pile. H is given as 8, which means that maximum she can spend is 8 hours. Okay, so she need to represent what's K? What's K? K is number of bananas she can eat in 1 hour. So let's try. As it is said, okay, we need to find the minimum integer K. So let's try with 1 because we will start from the minimum itself. Okay, we try the 1. The, the piles were 3, 6, 7, and 11. Exactly the same as written here. Exactly same. Cool. Now, the number of hours required for each pile of bananas is as we are, as a K is 1, which means that she can eat one banana in one hour. It's one banana and it's every, it's a on the basis of per hour thing. Cool. So it will take three hours, six hours, seven hours, 11 hours. In total, it will require 27 hours, which is exactly more than K. So it's not possible. Cool. Let's example. Let's k is equal to two. Here the hours required are two, three, four, and six. How I calculated that? As I said, k is two, which means that she can eat two bananas in one hour, right? If she can eat k bananas in one hour, which means two bananas in one hour. So one banana it can be eaten in one by k hours. So p of i bananas, which is the particular thing right here, right here, it's a P of I bananas. So P of I bananas, it can be eaten in P of I upon K hours. It's just the same P of I, which is three, as you can see, it's three and upon K, which is two. It just gives me a 1.5. And as I want a whole number of hours, I can't have a 1.5 hour. I can have either one hour or two hour. And as I need to eat both all of these three bananas, so I will take a two hour. So it's the reason it, it is two here and same like it's three hours, four hours and six hours for these six, seven and 11 bananas. Cool. So in total, the hours required are 15, which is also more than eight. Sorry, it's not possible here. My K equal to three. Let's try more K. I'm just moving on from K equal to two, three, four. I'll just move on until I find my solution. K equal to three. The hours required for respective piles are one, two, three and four. To total required are 10 which is also more than eight. So it's also not the good answer. Cool. I just ignored that. It's a wrong answer. It's not possible. When my K equal to four, R's required will be one, two, two, and three respectively for every pile. So all in total, the R's required will be eight. Oh, wait a second. Eight, which is exactly less than equal to 
the required number of hours which is 8 exactly so basically this 8 is h and this 8 is what i got from my k equal to 4 and as we saw that it's the minimum k possible because we tried all other k's from 1 2 3 we, all, we tried all other k's right so it's a minimum k possible that's the reason i just returned my answer as k equal to 4 it's the answer i hope that you guys got okay let's see another example itself here the piles are 30 which means that each pile has 30 bananas next has 11 bananas next has 23 bananas so k equal to 1 let's try from scratch scratch okay number of hours required are 30 11 23 4 and 20 respectively for every pile cool in total the hours required are 88 no it's way 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 too much more than the number of hours required so okay sorry it's not possible now as there are many cases so let's move on to a more larger k okay let's try k equal to 12 although we should go linear wise 1 2 3 but to show you guys i just move to k equal to 12 directly because i can just can't show so many so as required will be 3 1 2 1 and 2 respectively number of hours required are 9 which is also more than 5 sorry that's also not possible right okay cool now move on to more k here i just skipped although we have to do it's a linear thing we have to do but i skipped it cool number of hours required will be 2 1 1 1 and 1 total required are 6 but still we wanted maximum to 5 we can't go beyond 5 sorry it's also not possible let's start equal to 30 hours required are 1 1 1 and 1 in total hours required are 5 oh it's less than equal to 5 oh i got my answer cool but I should make sure that I tried k equal to 26, 27, 28, 29. After that, I say, okay, if these are not possible, then if k is equal to 30 possible, so it's the minimum k. I want minimum k, not any k. Cool. So my 30 was my answer. And as you can see here, my 30 was my answer. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's, let's try next. k equal to 1. For this example, we try from scratch. Okay. k equal to 1. As required are 30, 11, 23, 4, 20. In total, the hours required are 88. Oh, it's more than H, which is 6. So, sorry, I can't take it. Why? I just skip many hours, many Ks. So, I have to show you guys. Okay. Hours required for K equal to 12 are 3, 1, 2, 1, and 2. In total, hours required are 9, which is also more than 6. Sorry, not possible. K equal to 23. Hours required are here. I will try 13, 14, up till 22. If it is not possible, then I tried K equal to 23. I'm saying that, right? K equal to R required are 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. As in total R required are 6. It's less than 6. We are happy. We are good. So it's the minimum K. Mark my words. I just tried every K. And I'm, I'm not just skipping to a, some particular K. So yeah. It's just a 23. So um, what we thought was, okay. If we just replicate what we thought. Right. I'm just repl like replicating in code what we thought. So basically for every K. Right, I am just moving to my piles array to check, okay, what's the number of hours required? And if it is less, my, then my edge, I'll just stop right there. So basically, if it goes from 1, 2, 2, up, 1, 2, 3 up till Z, let's mark it as Z for now. I will show what's is Z. Then it will be O of Z, a, a complexity. And at every K, which means from 1 to maybe like, the z maybe my k is let's say 40 so for let's say for that k i'm just trying to trade on this particular piles array and checking okay what's the hours what's the hours what's the hours and see okay if it is less than equal to my h or not so it is just iterating on o of n for every of those k's okay so if it is o of z it is o of n so in total it will be o of n into z but 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 n is here as you can see the piles array is 1e4 which means the length of the piles array is 1e4 but z is what z is actually see what's the maximum value of z it can be how long my k can be see right when my whole array which means that h is equal to my n which means that i need to complete my h in the length of this array which means that i need to consume every pile in one hour let's say i have a I have a array called piles in which one pile, next pile, next pile, next pile. If my h is equals to n, which means I have to consume every pile in one hour, right? Which means that I need to consume that particular pile, which means let's say pile of i in one hour. 
which means my k is e, will be equal to the max of the pile of i let me show you by example the example to which we saw here as you can clearly see that my h is equals to n which means that i need to consume every pile in one hour i need to consume it in one hour which means that i need to make sure that my k is such that k is such that let's say it is z so z is indicates that i need to eat z bananas per hour and i said that i need to consume every pile per hour so i will just make sure they okay it should be 30 per hour it should be 11 per hour it should be 23 per hour it should be 40 per hour it should be 20 per hour so when i take a k so it, it, it will be common for everyone so i will take the maximum k out of all this which is 30 so i'll just make sure my k is 30 my k is 30 which will make sure okay that for every pile i'll just consume that pile in one hour so i'll consume these 30 bananas in one hour i'll consume these 11 bananas in one hour because i i can consume 30 bananas per hour I'll consume also this in one hour, also this in one hour, also this in one hour, right? Because it's H is exactly equal to my N. Because see, as you can clearly see, my piles H, my H, it starts with the piles length, which means that, okay, what's my piles? It's uh, one thing, this word piles, piles, piles. I just think of some other piles. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this H thing, it's what? It starts from piles dot length. So its minimum is itself n. So n which means every pile needs to be consumed in one hour. So I'll just have, okay, what's the maximum of the piles in this whole array of piles and it will be my z. So as you can clearly see that maximum of, of piles, it can go to 1e9. So it will be just max of piles. It can go up to maximum of 1e9. So in total, the complexity will be 1e13. Oh no, for sure no, it can't be possible. So we can clearly see that, okay, brute force, and it's just a replication of example three, which we saw. So one thing is brute force, sure, brute force for sure cannot work because it's 1e13 and oh, God damn, it's not possible. But, 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 what we thought was, okay, we are iterating on every K, right? From one, two, three up till, let's say Z. Why not think, okay, let's say if I had any K, my K is anything, let's say mid or anything, like let's say 40, anything I'm saying right now. And I'll just see, okay, if I iterate on this piles, number of hours required to complete that whole pile, the number of hours required at that mid or basically at that K, it's X. Let's say it's come out to be X. So if X is less than equal to H, I'm happy. I can, I, I, I don't need to go beyond 40 then, right? Because I just got my answer and I need to got minimum K. So I just go on, go on into the particular range right here because I just needed the minimum K. If my K satisfy the condition, then I just try it for the minimum. If I got something, I'll try for a better thing. Better means minimum because I want the minimum one. But, but, but if not, if my X is actually more than my H, then sorry, my mid, it cannot be. And if my smaller K, it cannot be. So it's for sure that the smaller than 40 will also not be which means my smaller than mid will also not be so i need to try on the larger k thus i'll just try on the larger k which means it is more than my particular mid if i take my k as mid and it's exactly the same thing which is called binary search binary search what we do is we just discard half a range so basically in binary search we discard half a range by just a condition. What's the condition? Condition is this. We find the x, we check if it is less than k, equal, like less than equal to k or more than k. If it is less than equal to k, now my range is this, from l to mid. If it is more than k, if it is more than k, more than h, then my range is from mid plus 1 to r. It's the new range and else it is the range. It is what is binary search is. That is just at every step, it just redu reduces the range to half. And thus, what we are doing is, we are just reducing our k, which, we, which was O of z, O of z earlier, as we're re like re reducing it half every time. So I'm making it O of log z every time, which is, and what is z? As I said, it is max of my whole piles array. So it is, complexity is O of log max p 
for this just iterating on this whole particular thing but at every iteration we also need to go on to this particular array right it's the reason we just have this o of n into log max p that's the reason we just got everything under our time complexity of 1e9 which is one second so it's the reason that we reduce from log we reduce from max p which was z max p which was z to log of max p which means log of c that's a drastic reduction because of binary search so let's see the code quickly it's pretty 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 simple standard binary search standard things l equal to r l, l equals to 1 r equals to 1 e 9 which is the limit of k which we can have we find the mid okay it's just standard i just okay like you also have you also can have l plus r minus l by 2 and all that stuff so i'm just not having that okay like it's good to have that but if the ranges are big it's not here so i just not having that okay now the condition is is possible is possible we'll just have okay if this is the mid which means it is the x and is possible will indicate okay if x is less than equal to h then i can just reduce my r to mid which means i can re reduce my range to l to mid and if it is not which means that if the condition is my x is more than h then i need to reduce bring down the range to mid plus one to h which means that it is down the bottom range and it is now the above range for this it is above range for this it is a bottom range cool and what is the condition is possible is possible is just checking okay what is the r's required to consume bananas at this particular k and i just and i just showed you guys right what is how we find this number of r's required it's just the sum of p of i upon k and and we are taking the c value i showed you guys why it is the c value because we can't have 1.5 hours it's two hours right and i just checking okay if number of hours required are less than equal to k which means x is less than equal to h or here in this example the number of hours required which we are having for that particular case less than equal to h then we are good it's good it's just the same thing that it's possible or not and yeah it's the final code for you guys to look in a separate way but here i just showed the functionality which two functions are being implemented so i hope that you guys understood the problem and it was exactly the same as the last one if not then do hit uh to see that what was the last problem and yeah it's all from me and i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do with the like button motivates me a lot so guys in the next video until then goodbye take care bye